Hello, my name's Danielle and I'd like to welcome you to Control the Makeup. I first would like to introduce you to this little guy. This is Maurice. Maurice is a makeup. Obvious. Then we have Dog to Spot. Oh my right. I want you to start imagining that inside the brain of your dog lives these two guys. You know, your dog is powered when they're online, when they're thinking, they've got dog to spot, dog to spot in charge. You know, this is your general dog that is able to think, they're able to control their actions, they're able to learn. So when we're setting up the environment, so we're teaching our dogs behaviours and we're rewarding them, it's dog to spot that's online. You know, he's there, he's conscious of thinking, he's engaging in the situation. If something startles them, Maurice will pipe up a little bit, oh my God, something's happened. And he'll go, no, no, it's fine, you can calm down. He's like, are you sure? Yeah, okay, we'll calm down. There are some dogs, however, from Maurice over here, he hijacks them a lot. So he hangs out on the collar of your dog and he's on sentry duty all the time. Like he is looking around for the next potential threat. And the problem with our dog's brain, especially when they suffer from kind of trauma and they have anxiety and they have these fearful type responses, is their eyes link to Maurice and they tell Maurice what's going on faster than they do dog to spot. So Maurice will spot something, start panicking about it, and there's a critical distance at which he can hijack the entirety of your dog's brain, and he controls their reactions and puts them into fight or flight. They start reacting like a Tasmanian devil on the end of their lead. We don't know what's going on, and then we move away from the situation, our dogs calm down, they look at us as though they have no idea what just happened, and Dr. Spock comes back online going, dude, like it was a carrier bag, wasn't even a dog. But that split second triggered Maurice to hijack our dog's brain. And we need to work with our dogs to make sure that we can control the meerkat so we can help our dogs. 